What's up everybody, I am Marky and you are watching Smashing the Bash Reviews. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you have not seen the previous segment I had before, just to give you guys a heads up, this is my Lion King movie reaction. Like, I have watched it, I have had my process, my thought process and everything together, and guys, here it is. So... I just want to let you know, like, before I decide to give this a smash, bash, or a neutral, I did enjoy the movie. However, and I mean however, because I guess my expectations may have been, like, like super, super high, I didn't have the room to for the possibility for something to screw up. But it turns out, there were some screw ups in the movie. Let's just let me just keep it real. When it comes to voice acting, and I mean voice acting, like voice acting is an art. You put emotion and everything behind the character. You have to understand like what the character is feeling. So what I'm trying to say is is that there were certain characters. I'm not going to say any names because I don't need a a whole colony of worshippers or I should. I don't even I don't even know whether or not to say worshipers or not. I'm going to just leave it at that. But just because like of who you are and everything like I know like look they they probably needed you or whatever like for other talents because you are the mega star, the current mega star and everything and that was going to pull some people to watch this movie. And people were going to watch it regardless. But so I think first of all the voice of Scar fit right in the place. Mufasa is Mufasa. That's James Earl Jones for crying out loud. Um, adult Simba was good. Even the young Simba was good. But I just feel like, okay, if you're just saying words and everything, like it just doesn't fit. I, again, I feel voice acting is like you have to have your emotion. You have to put it. You have to feel the character. It's, it's acting. So... You just can't just read off of a, a script. I don't like this. Or what, whatever the lines is for that particular scene or whatever. You just can't read it off a piece of paper. Like, And I just felt like there were a few characters that were reading off a piece of paper. So, sorry about that. That's how I feel. That's the, that's the bad part about it. The good part about this movie is that the comic relief was where it needed to be. Your sad moments and everything. You, you climax with the movie. You were, you were happy. You were sad. Like all that. I mean, it's a movie for crying out loud that we have seen like well over. Dang, when Lion King came out? What, 94? 93, 94? So it was like well. We talking about well over freaking 20 years ago. So, man. I'm... That's pretty much what I have to say about it. It was just some voice acting. And I just felt like it just didn't fit. The movie was good. The music was great. And um, again, man, like this is this is something that I was looking forward to when I put high expectations on there. And I just felt like, okay, well, nothing could have happened wrong. So this is what you want to hear about it. I am making this neutral. And the reason why I'm making it neutral is because of the hiccups that I did not expect to happen in the movie. I just thought this movie was about to be completely just seamless, just flowing right on through. No room for error. It's Lion King and they can't mess this up. They can't mess this up. Like, who, who would want to mess up Lion King, really? So, that's all I have for this particular segment. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram at SmashingBash15. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. And I will catch you on next week's segment. All right? Y'all guys be safe. Take care.